So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover how you have to submit the day 2 task also the quick tutorial how you have to complete the day 2 also. So before that we start make sure you subscribe to the channel and do hype the video and if you don't know how to hype the video you can come to the short section and you can see this video I've shared. Now here we have covered the day 1 and day 2 complete tutorial you can see it's already live. One more important thing I wanted to share that if you haven't started day one, then you won't be able to complete day two because all the required requirements like VS Code, Node.js, Python, how to install, how you have to do, all things are covered in this video. So make sure to watch it. Otherwise, you won't be able to complete day two or even day 10 also. So first follow this video and then come to the second video. And here we'll be submitting and just checking the demo. So let's come over here in the description box of this video. I've shared this file. You have to just copy this file and you have to open the same VS code. Okay. And then you have to just replace the agent.py file. Okay. Just replace the agent.py file and just save it. After that, you have to just come over here in the live kit server. First, you can see these three dots on the top. Click on terminal and just click on new terminal. Now in the description box, I have shared the first file over here, first URL. You have to run it to activate it. So just run it to activate the server. And now we have to activate the backend. So click on the backend and just click on open in integrated terminal. Now for the backend, here is the command. We have to use this command, okay. You will run Python, you have to use. So just copy it carefully. And just come to the VS code. Okay, VS code you have to come and just run it like this. Now here it can see the agent is being loaded over here. Now just come to the front end page. Right click over here and just click on open in integrated terminal. Now for the front end you have to just open the pnpn dev. Just open the pnpn dev to initiate the server localhost. It will take some time, so don't worry about it. Once you see the URL, you can just start. So it's still initiating and doing all the tasks and the backend is also started. So here you can see the initialization process is live and the server is live. You have to just open it like this. And here in the Chrome, the browser, the agent is started. So here we have to talk with the agent and just answer the query. We have to place an order and the order.json file will be generated on our VS code. Okay, so just stay tuned and let's see how it works. Meanwhile, do hype the video and subscribe the channel. Now, once the agent is live, you have to click on start call. And here you will see the agent is listening over here. If we see everything is fine. So let me check. Yes, it's fine. So here we have to just test it. So just wait for the agent to respond. And here we'll just initiate the next step. So orders.json file. You can see a previous order file has been generated. Like this, the order file will be generated. And here you can see it's starting. Hey. Hey there. Welcome to DR, a Bishop Cafe. What can I get started for you today? If you on the chat bot, you can see you can see that it's prompting the answer. So let me show you a quick demo without the microphone also. If I can show so how you have to record a demo. So here you can clearly see a demo. So just can you repeat whatever you said just now? Certainly. I just asked, but back to your coffee order, what delicious drink are you in the mood for today? I'm ready to take it down. What can I get for you? Take a order for milk. Ah, milk. Well, milk is a wonderful addition. I need a main drink to go with it. What kind of coffee drink would you like today? We have lattes, cappuccinos, Americanos, order espressos. For cappuccino. Excellent choice. 
What would you like that cappuccino, my friend? We have small, medium, large, and extra. Small size, perfect for your cappuccino. Now, for your milk choice, what would you prefer? We have whole, skim, almond, oat, soy, or coconut Why? milk. Or You're saying? Okay, I'm ready to hear your milk. No worries at all. Take your time. What kind of milk you would you like with your small cap? Using the chart also, like we are just saying soy or oat, whatever it says. Due to the limitation, the agent works a little bit slow. So you have to record the same thing and upload like we did in day one. If you want to see the day one video also, I'll share it. Do not worry about it. So here you have to just make a screen recording of whatever output you are being generated is being generated. Okay. After that, you have to post it and then LinkedIn post. You have to just generate a template post over here. You can use the AI also for generating the post. So in milk, it is. Yes. Got it. A small cappuccino with soy milk. Now, how about any extras for your cappuccino? No, no extra. We have no extras. Keeping it classic and delicious. All right, just one more thing. What name should I put on this order for you? Its name should be uh, Priyanshu. Wonderful. Priyanshu, almost ready to complete your order. So, to confirm, that's a small cappuccino with soy milk yes, yes. and no extras. Yes. So, like this, you have to just set up the thing over here. So, now if we come to the JSON file, you can clearly see there one order has been generated and the name you can see Priyanshu, which we said. And like this, you can just share the output also to them. Like we ordered a small cappuccino and then once you have done this, you have to take a screen recording if fit and just paste on the LinkedIn. So let's move to the next step how we have to do it. Okay, so let me just record it again and I will show you. Now you have to open the LinkedIn page over here. You have to just click on start a post. Okay, now here you have to post it for that. I have a demo template text also. If I just come over here, I have already made a template. You can see like this, you can just select it and just paste. You can generate your own also. Now here, what we'll be doing, we'll uploading the video, which we have just screen recorded it. So if I show you the video and here, I have to just locate it. First of all, let me locate it. Now, once you have uploaded the file like this, you can see here in the day two, we have uploaded the file over here and we have made the post. You have to just click on post over here. So just post it. Now it's uploading. Meanwhile, let's complete the GitHub task. So this was the GitHub repo. We came over here. First thing you need to click on the fork option. Okay. So here, as I already created a fork, so I don't need to create a fork. By default, this repo will be there. I will share both the repo. You have to click on this fork option. Okay, then you'll get a copy of this repository. Now let's come over here and here you can see the fork repo is here. So like this, you have to just open it and let's create a demo branch. So for example, I am creating a day two over here and just click on create. Just click on this create button. Now once you have done this thing, okay. So here you can see we are in day two branch. Now from here we have just changed the back end over here. So just come to the back end, src and agent.py you can see here. So you have to just open this file and just click on this pencil icon. So like this you have to just modify it. The same agents.py file which I shared, you have to just copy it like this and just simply replace the contents over here. So here you can see all these things are done. You have to just click on commit and just write a commit like added task 2 or added task for day 2. Like this you can make a commit also and just click on commit changes. Now you don't have to create a pull request. Okay, you don't have to create a pull request. 
we have to simply come to the repo again like this and here you can see we are in the day two now what you need to do you need to just copy from here to the top and just in the form i've shared this form also you have to come to the bottom and just in the github repo link just paste over here like this now for the linkedin post come to the linkedin i think the post has been already done so here you can see this is our post you have to click on this three dots and then simply click on copy link to post and just paste over here like this okay it's linkedin post only like this we have to do and let me see whether it's worked or not the link is working or not let's verify yes it's working so like this you have to open it and just use the same email address which you use for day one and while registration after that you have to just do one thing i think i did one mistake like you have to add these two hashtag also so i think the hashtag is present no hashtag is not present so what you can do in such case you have to modify the post over here and here you can see they have mentioned a hashtag so just copy it like this and just come to the day three paste over here okay and just tag the morph ai so you can see this morph ai just tag it like this and anything else is not mentioned over here so like this we have to just save it now the post has been successfully updated you can clearly see now we are done with the challenge and let's meet in day three complete solution guides are available on the channel do watch it and complete the challenge do like the video do hide the video and subscribe the channel guys have a great day ahead